we have a big, big problem. And one member said that how is it that over 60% of payments from NHIF goes to private facilities? Chair and honorable members, it will shock you that of the payments we made this month after having delays from Exchequer for a long time, the top facility to be paid is one that we have suspended. And in all honesty, and I am yet to be convinced, that you will have a small private facilities doing more surgeries than Kenyatta, than Moi, than KU, all these public facilities combined. We have some small health, and it is not busy and the big currents that you hear about. There's a problem. And we can only solve this problem together with you members. I'm seeking your support. Unfortunately, there are going to be casualties. But please be with me. If you are really intentional about us cleaning health in this country, we must work together. There's no way out of it. Chair, I hear the concern from uh, Mashmiwa regarding my decision and the impact on the public. Before I took the decision that I took, I had an early morning meeting with my chair of NHIF, with the CEO of KMPDC, and we discussed the ways out of this matter. We did not just suspend the facilities, chair. I gave them 24 hours to vacate patients because I knew there would be an impact. So within the 24 hours, they ought to have vacated patients to other hospitals. And one of those facilities had the audacity to write back to me and tell me they have over 200 admissions. What do they do? And they said, forget the patients. The only patients that will remain in that facility until available space is found is those in ICU and HDU. And my DG is here. He will agree with me that that was the right decision to take. And then the uh, facilities can be closed while the um, investigations continue. Why from me? Vice Chair, you have said that as things continue, one will give way. I have to play my part. I do not want it to come to the end and be told, what did you do as the Cabinet Secretary? I will stand by my decision. I will lead from the front. We may do, um, I may uh, do some mistakes. We will learn from the mistakes and move on. But these are not decisions that need to be delayed. They have to be taken. And I want to believe that you are with me, that uh, before we, we go, we'll have done what we need to do and probably justify our stay to continue with the cleanup. Autonomy of Sagas, they have the autonomy. But still, I have a responsibility as the Cabinet Secretary. And that is why before I made the decision, I called the Chair of NHIF and I also called the CEO and the chair of KMPDC, because I know procedurally they are the ones who are supposed to be closing and suspending and investigating those facilities. So I did what I needed to do at the policy level. So I'm just playing my part in terms of uh, driving the policy of the ministry. And uh, we are working together with the leadership of those institutions. You've raised concerns on the people who are given the opportunity to to act. The person acting as CEO of NHIF, it was a difficult decision to take and to settle on the gentleman to act. But the reason we settled on him, he was the senior most at the time. Because the other decision would be either you bring a very junior staff to act or you get somebody from outside. And that would have taken long for us to identified because we had to go through the recruitment process. And that is why we got whoever was senior most at the time who under demonstrated understanding of the institution to act as we get now into active recruitment. And Chair and Honorable Members, you are aware of what even has happened during the recruitment exercise. We are fighting a big, big problem that to the extent somebody would want to manage a recruitment exercise and recruit themselves into office, 
and plan who comes in as directors with them. Chair, <laughs> we have a problem.